And in Knoxville, the Super Bowl divided houses. Today, several fraternities held watch parties and said the game sparked some rivalry there. Reporter, reporter Krista Lucas takes us to that drama. Chiefs King, the baby. Fly, go fly. Come on. Come on. Fraternity brothers usually have a strong bond, but the Super Bowl transforms it for one day. Huge Eagles fan, always been. Will die an Eagles fan. House is divided. I'm here for the Chiefs. The back and forth could go for hours. Seriously, I'm just tired of the disrespect to Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. I think they've, 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 they've been there before, then they're going to do it again. How do you respond? Could you name two players besides Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey? In the meantime, the fun escalates. A lot of guys like to, you know, uh, dabble in putting some money on the game, which gets interesting as well. Some fraternity members tell me snacks play an important part in the battle. Pizzas and some breadsticks and all that good stuff. Food, game, and fun. Why the bickering? I think the conflict lies with, you know, choosing the underdog versus the people that have continued to win. At the end of the day, their brotherhood is stronger. At the same time, the game's going to do the talking. I don't really need to say anything to him. I mean, I'm going to feel bad for him. I'll give him a hug at the end. But other than that, you know, I'm just going to be excited. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, I'm going to let the game talk too, but I'm confident in my guys. And a Super Bowl fun fact for you today. People across the nation are eating, and they're eating a lot. The average person eats around 2,400 calories during this four-hour game that's still going on right now.